What's up, Tiger fans? It's the Morgan Thomas Show. Today, we're going to look at Clemson target Jaleel Skinner from the 2022 recruiting class in Greer, South Carolina. Before we get into this video, make sure you like the video and subscribe so that you can stay up to date to all our Clemson exclusive content. Hey, we put it out weekly exactly for you, so tune in and subscribe. All right, so we got Houston here with me. Going to talk about another target that Clemson's going after. Four-star guy from 24-7 Sports Composite, wide receiver slash tight end, Jaleel Skinner from Greer High School, Greer, South Carolina, very close to where Houston and I are at in Greenville, Simpsonville area, but um, six foot five, 210 pounds. Man, that's got some size there. 24 total offers. You've got Clemson, Florida, Florida State, South Carolina, Alabama. So big time list there of big time schools that are looking into this guy. Lead experts right now leaning towards crystal balling him to Florida. So we don't know if he's going to go to Clemson or not. Um, but he would definitely be a valuable asset to the Tigers as far as the passing game is concerned. Uh, Houston, what are your first thoughts when you look at the film? We're going to be checking out the film again from huddle.com. Yeah, look, there's no doubt this kid's an athlete. I've seen him play live. You know, East Side's right behind me. I watched him just torch that defense. He's got speed. He's got size. Um, you know, I, I think that's what it boils down to is, um, one, Florida's probably pitching that he could be the next Kyle Pitts, and that's very true. He's got a lot of body similarities. But it also could be uh, whether or not uh, Jaleel Skinner kind of fits the mold of, of the, the standard Dabo offer. You know, we always talk about how Clemson has a specific guy they want. It doesn't always have to boil down to uh, just the X's and O's and football parts, but does it fit a culture culturally? Um, and so, you know, there, there's some rumors and scuttlebutt that maybe, you know, we're trying to figure that out. Clemson is trying to figure that out. Uh, and that's just kind of where things stand right now. He could very well commit to Clemson. I think he would be an asset. I think he'd be a large body. I don't necessarily think that if he were to commit to Clemson and play in our offense, playing Clemson's offense, that he would be your stereotypical, you know, put him on the line and try to have him block all game. I, I think he's going to be more of like a, um, Let's let's mix him up, trying to get him off the line. Maybe he's going to be an offset tight end, uh, somebody that plays off the line of scrimmage. Um, but you know, who knows? He's also got a lot of lot of uh, opportunity to add on to his body size as well. Tall receiver, you can tell he's most comfortable playing on the outside in high school. Shows good hands on the deep routes. Um, it's hard to say sometimes his competition is obviously so much smaller than him that it makes it kind of a little bit too easy, like cheating a little bit, uh, for a guy at his size. But, uh, I think he would still be able to translate into the college level. Like you said, he does have some blocking on film, doesn't seem as comfortable in that scenario. So he's definitely more of what we would call a pass catching tight end instead of a run blocking tight end. Um, but he definitely can fight off tackles uh, at the ankles, around the legs. So you have to make sure you are you have good, solid tackles. I like that he plays special teams, as you can see here. So he's not afraid to get in and, and tackle himself on the other side of the ball. A lot of these elite guys in high school, um, you really know they're elite because they play both sides of the ball. The high schools can't afford to have them off the field. So they have them almost on every single snap on both sides of the ball. So Skinner is definitely one of those guys. Um, considering it being so close to Clemson, you'd love to see Clemson reel him in and not have him go out of state. But obviously, like I said, there's a lot of people saying that he will go to Florida instead of Clemson. Um, and obviously, as you mentioned, with uh, Kyle Pitts having success, it's easy to see. But I think, um, you know, you'll also show him film on Jordan Leggett and some of the other guys that Clemson has had uh, in the passing game from a tight end perspective. Um, if Galloway and Allen have a good year, maybe he takes a look at those guys and says, hey, I can do that too. Um, only time will tell where he's going to commit to. But again, this is uh, Jaleel Skinner from Greer High School in Greer, South Carolina, 2022 um, target for Clemson Tigers. Hey, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel so that you can stay up to date to all of our Clemson content that we put out weekly. We got recruiting content, football content, basketball, baseball, softball, anything anything you ask for, really, we try to put it out here for you so you can watch it and uh, continue to talk about the Tigers. Um, but we really appreciate you joining us.
Let me tell you about Tiger Sports Shop. We don't just dress for success. We TS for success. That's TigerSportsShop.com. Big Al, Houston, and I are all wearing gear from Tiger Sports Shop. We shop there so much, they practically forced us to be sponsors for them. Stop by one of their two locations or both of them. 364 College Avenue, Clemson, South Carolina, or 1102 Tiger Boulevard, Clemson. If you aren't in town, no worries. Visit TigerSports.com. That's TigerSports.com. Tell Sean and Julie that the Morgan Thomas Show sent you. 